Let's see an immobilized by love, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby! Woo! Russet, I love you. I love you so much, Russet. Are you not entertained? Let's go! That's Barry down. Uh, very messy. Um, we lost a Pokemon. That's pretty upsetting, actually. Okay, so we're gonna use Repel Strats to get a guaranteed Scyther. I, I used the Super Repel, right? Ooh, almost screwed that up. Thanks! Uh, we're trying to get a guaranteed Scyther on um, Route 215 right now, so that's what we're gonna be doing here for a second. We're working on it. We're slowly but surely working on it. Come on, Scyther, 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 Scyther. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. Scyther, level 22, has the following moves. Wing attack, agility, false swipe, and pursuit. I think we always attack this once with uh, confusion and potentially switch up the team from there. Okay, we do want to disable that if we can. Okay, well, it probably can kill us now. Oh God, this is going to be so hard. Um, okay, so it does have pursuit. So there's a non-zero chance that we die here. Um, we do need to switch into nickel. Um, Nickel. Okay, did not use Pursuit. Come on, much less. That's way better. That still did 15 damage. Okay. We're gonna have to Confuse Ray it. Ooh, let's Iron. Ooh, Sharp. No, we're gonna, we Confuse Ray it always. That's just gonna do 15. I'd name it Robert, but the nickname theme is colors. So Robert, if you find me a color, I will, that remind, that Scyther reminds you of, so some shade of green, I will name it, I will name it that color. That I will promise you. But that's the nickname theme. The nickname theme is colors. Okay. That did nothing. Blue, it's gotta remind you of the Scyther. Is there a blue Scyther? Is there blue on the side? I actually don't know. I'm asking genuinely. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay, netball. Come on. Find a good green. One, two. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay. Green 207. <laughs> here, I'll, here, let me paste this for you. This is what we've been using. We've been using in, in Coloropedia. So that is a list of a bunch of colors. And if you search for, if you look for named colors, you can find really cool shades of green and stuff. Um, that's what I'll put, put, put towards you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think we confuse Ray one more time. Okay, see, now we're trapped. Now we're uber trapped. Okay, this is bad. I do not want to lose this Bronzor. Okay, we have to dodge this or ha hope it doesn't use Pursuit. <sighs> Come on. Okay, didn't use Pursuit, we're good. Switch to Indigo. Come on, come on, come on, hit yourself. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I think we just faint attack once. There's no way this, this kills. I'm gonna check real quick. Does at most 80%. So I think we faint attack once. Nice. Get yourself in confusion. 
Okay, that's fine. We're doing good. This thing is landing crits on me like crazy, by the way. Bag. Come on, get in the ball. Whew, come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. We got him, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Reminder, Scyther is valid in a little lock because it has an evolution. We just can't evolve it. Tree color. Hold on. <laughs> I've posed to Robert. Um, let's do this. Here, I will. Let's see if I can meet you halfway. Uh, 207. Is there a green that has 207 in it? Royal green it is. Royal green. Welcome to the team, you king. Also, holy shnikes. This thing almost killed two of my... Just so everyone understands how close this was to being disastrous, Nickel is an Elite Four Pokemon. And we almost lost it to uh, encountering a Scyther. So, like, pretty bad, I would say. Okay, so now that we have Scyther, we can get guaranteed Ponyta on 210. How about that? We have a Repel active, I've just remembered. There we go. This should be easier. <laughs> Geodude. Aw, oh, pewter. I miss you, friend. That was... I can't believe I lost you to misreading a document. Let's see, Ponyta. Not a Ponyta. Oops, I forgot. I should not speed through that. Oopsie. Ponyta! That'll be great. Yeah, Roja is, Sp is Spanish for red. So we're going to name her Roja. Good call cheese. Okay, let's go check out our new additions. Our new additions in the box. We got Royal Green the Scyther. And we got Ponyta. I'm going to check out the Ponyta first because this is fun. So Ponyta. Ooh, it's got a uh, Shuckaberry. <gasps> Modest nature. Is that good? Oh god, I don't know. Ponyta is physically is a physical one. However, that's probably fine. Because if we're being honest. Yeah, so if it's neutral, it's 90 to da. And if it's uh it just raised it by seven points. Ugh. So it's an all-rounder. Yep, but it's fast and it gets flash fire. Which I believe means I have a fire immunity. Yeah, flash fire. Activates when a user is hit by a damaging fire type move. Once activated, the user's fire types moves deals the user's fire type moves deals 1.5 damage. Um, while this ability is in effect, the Pokemon is immune from fire type attacks and fire type hidden power. Nice. That is super cool. So that's the, we have a fire immunity, everyone. How about that? Roja out here killing the game. So now we got our Scyther. Quirky, what does that mean? Quirky is plus special, sorry, plus, or sorry, woo. I thought it was plus special attack minus speed for a second. That was almost terrifying. It is neutral. Quirky is a neutral nature. That is hella good. Also, why is my light off? I've just now realized. And it gets technician. Hell yeah, let's go. So that means this wing attack and this all of these all of these moves it was using against me were actually this was 90 base damage. This was 60 base pursuit. So this thing is busted. Real green is about to be like a real one. Full heal. Okay, now I'm pretty sure these ace trainers are not to be screwed with. I think we can do this pretty good. Do we want to face her first? Oh my god, her Pokemon is significantly worse. Roselia, Ralts, and Lickitung. I'm going to do that first. That sounds way better. That sounds way better. So we're doing her first.
Roselia, Ralt, Lickitung. Okay, so we wing attack. Supersonic stomp, rollout, and defense curl. Okay, so this thing has rollout. What is rock not very good against? It is fighting, ground, and steel. So I think we can... Pokemon, fighting, ground, and steel. Okay, I think it's probably just summary. What does he got? Check moves. He's got Screech, so I think we just do that. Um, and then maybe we can Sand Attack as well. So we, yeah, that's what we're doing. Also very defensive. Can't have his attack lowered. Okay, so now we need a Sand Attack to save our lives. Thing doesn't have an ability that can not lower its thing, right? Cannot be confused, not to attract. Okay, still good. Oh my gosh, this thing has hit three rollouts in a row through two sand attacks. Can this thing always hit or something? Like, what is going on? Uh, Pokemon cannot be confused. Pokemon, Pokemon cannot be attracted. Okay. What is this? The Katung is just getting insanely lucky. So this is the last one, and then I got to switch. <clears throat> what is going on right now? I actually have to switch or I'm going to die. We might have to sacrifice someone here. Um, who is worth sacrificing? Not Roha. It's probably Ariolan. Because I have another water type. Um, we're genuinely going to have to sacrifice someone. Because this Lickitung is hitting rollouts through... It's hitting rollouts through three sand attacks. Like, I don't know what to do. You can't do anything about that. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Whew. By the way... Three sand attacks. It was on four, its fourth rollout. Like, this thing was unbelievably lucky. Okay. So now let's disable, which should disable rollout. <laughs> okay, so now we switch. So it's got stomp, which will do a lot of damage, to be clear. I think we just switch to, uh, probably to Russet. Yeah, I have to go check on my thing after this battle. Nice. I keep forgetting that we have sand attacked it. So I think now we, ooh, we attract. We're gonna use Fantina strats. So we attract, which means between immobilized by love and sand attack, it might not be able to hit us. We then substitute. Come on. Killing it. This Lickitung loves me. Which means it does not have an ability that it's the can't be confused. So now I just think we quick attack for a bit. That is not do a lot of damage. We might have to speed up through this because this might take a really long time. Okay. This is going to take forever. I'm going to start speeding up through this because I got to go get my kids food. <laughs> Let me check something quick. Okay. 
So that's no longer disabled. So now we substitute again. Nice. Also helps block us from supersonic, which is super helpful. Hi, basic. How's it going? We are just slowly but surely killing this lick that is in love with us. <laughs> that keeps defense curling. <laughs> this is an ace trainer. This is the... I feel like this is like an infamous trainer. I feel like this is hard to do in Diamond and Pearl as well. Um, there's like a set of ace trainers at the end of Route 215 who are just like the bane of your existence. So we've fallen in love. We've used three sand attacks on it. And it basically is like super hard for it to hit us. That's the that's how we're beating this thing. Come on. This thing loves me. Oh no! Well, where are, where are you already? Are you, uh, is it Orberg? Or sorry, Orberg? Yeah, is it first gym? Let's see a crit. Come on. Okay, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Ah, damn, that sucks. Where do you, wait, where you try, why were you trying to use a Chimchar in a Starly against the first gym? <laughs> I guess, what could you have gotten uh, that would have been, I mean, maybe Budu, maybe Psyduck is probably all, and Machop, one of those three, is probably all you had access to, if I had to guess. Oh, before the first gym, oh, yikers, dog. You got Psyduck and Machop. Okay, so Psyduck and Machop should be able to help. Pro tip, I don't know if you're playing with level caps or not, but this is actually, we just did the first gym in Orberg. And if you level edge your Geodude, which means you get them, you're at, they're at level 14, but you get them right to the edge so that if you beat their Geodude, it'll level up to level 15. It gets magnitude. And if you use one to two rock polishes, you should outspeed the rest of his team, that Cranidos, and you should be able to magnitude kill them all. So get your Geo Dude to level 14, up almost up to level 15, just to the top of level 14. Uh, use two rock polishes, kill their Geo Dude, and then magnitude sweep the rest of the gym. That is the easy way to beat gym number one in this game. Okay, so now I think we baton pass. This thing has Psychic, Magical Leaf, Calm Mind, and Double Team. Um, oh my gosh, that is so scary. I think we just always switch to um, uh, Gligar, which Ralts has got a... This thing is like, what, level 24? Um, and yeah, Gligar using Bite does always... Yeah, this thing super kills this. Um, so I think we baton pass into our almost dead Gligar, which the reason we're doing an almost dead Gligar is because we are hiding behind this. It is going to use double team, which is perfect. The reason that I don't care if it uses double team is because what we're going to kill it with is faint attack. So now hiding behind a substitute. We faint attack the double teaming Ralts. Let's see it. Oko. Got him. That's one ace trainer down, baby. Let's go. I got an Onyx instead of Geodude in the mines. Uh, you can also get an Onyx in the Orberg. Oh, sorry. Orberg. There's a chance to get Geodude in the Orberg mines. There's also a chance to get Geodude in the... Um, the other place in the uh, the mines that are to the south. There's the cave to the west, and then there's the mines to the south. I almost like walked into that battle, by the way, without uh, healing my guys. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Now we face Dennis. This is the last trainer of the day. <sighs> Gligar, Buizel, and Driftblum. I'm going to train up my Psyduck and the Machop a bit. But yeah, that's definitely a good call for sure. <laughs> Screech. I don't like that. 
depending on how much damage this does, I might need to switch. We can kill... Oh, that was rain boosted, too. Okay, uh, so here's the thing. Faint attack, quick attack. Let's see. This Glagar is level 24. This is a Psyduck. Blank. Level 29. Let's just assume it has no defense. And it's got minus two defense. Bite. Quick attack. Okay, uh, bite will crit kill, but I think we risk it. Okay, just use Screech again. Love to see it. Love to see it. Adios, Glygar. You are, would have been a formidable foe, but I'm going to switch. <laughs> Okay, this thing has Aqua Jet, Swift, Pursuit, and Quick Attack. So we switch to Rose. Don't use Pursuit. I hate you. This might actually kill us if it's a crit. I love you. I love you, Ariel. Owen. <laughs> Thank you. Whew. That was a that was a minus four defense from two Screeches Pursuit Dodge. Get wrecked. Um, stun score. <laughs> Amazing. That's not a lot of damage there, buddy. <laughs> Mega Drain. We also have a Shell Bell on it, so we should heal. Pretty good. Might actually kill. I don't know if that'll be true, but we'll see. Oh, almost. Heal the full, though. This is a... I gotta remember, this is a... Nice Paralyze. Okay, so we definitely have to switch on the next one, by the way. It's probably gonna want to use Gust. Flying is not very good against... Electric, rock, and steel. Okay, well, I don't have any of those guys. So I just gotta go with my most defensive dude. Which I'm pre or sorry, most specially defensive dude. I think we just shift that. Come uh, on, not an ominous win, Omni Boost. See, perfect. It's Gust. We should do pretty good against this. Now we faint attack for big damage. We gotta remember we cannot quick attack. Quick attack will not work. <laughs> it's got a ton of HP, which is the thing. Okay, let's not see an Omni Boost. 65. Okay, no Omni Boost, we're safe. Got him. Peace! Adios, Ace Trainers. Ooh, I forgot about Aftermath. That almost sucked. Take that, Dennis. Okay. That's it before Veilstone. Yeah, we're just prepping for... Gym number four. Got some encounters to get out of the way early. And then... Oh, I forgot I need to actually deposit one of these so we can get the Porygon. Maybe I'll just deposit the Badiri and then use the Porygon for a little bit. That's probably what I'll do. Okay, Porygon. But it's this guy. Porygon, please. All right, we gotta think of a name for Porygon. Band A N Bandango. Fandango, welcome to the squad. Let's check out Fandango real quick. I don't know what this thing gets at all, so I don't know if it's any good. Ooh, it's sassy. Uh, sassy, 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 what is sassy? Plus special defense minus speed. I don't think that's what I want. The Pokemon copies the foe's ability. Okay, that seems not bad. 
I don't know what other options I had. Attack is increased when the foe's defense is lower than the special defense. Okay. Download would have been cool, but I guess. Trace is nice too. Okay. So Valor Lakefront has the options to get the barrel, giraffe rig, Staravia, Cricketoon, and Houndour. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Bibarel, Giraffarig, Staravia, and Cricketune, but they're all invalid as of having a little lock because Giraffarig does not evolve in Gen 4. Bibarel, oh, Giraffarig does evolve later, though. Thanks to Farafarig, you can use a Giraffarig in your uh, Scarlet and Violet little locks. Um, Bibarel's evolved, Giraffarig has no Evo, Staravia's evolved, and Cricketune's evolved. So, we are during the day, and I am pretty sure... There, we can just keep it like this, and... Oh, I don't have a guy with Runaway. And I don't have a Smoke Ball. I didn't think this. I didn't think ahead enough. <laughs> uh, Houndour is only a 10% chance. Okay, so Giraffarig, not a valid encounter. It does not evolve in Gen 4. So we have to run away. Let's see Houndour. Houndour, level 28. Either has early bird or flash fire. But at level 28, this thing has beat up. Uh, beat up, odor sleuth, bite. Oh no, this thing has roar. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, okay. So we got a bag. Pokeballs. I think we just have to Ultra Ball it. Okay. I think we're just going to Ultra Ball. We're going to go for highest catch rate first because this thing has Roar and we need to not have it run away on us. <sighs> Come on. One, two, three. <sighs> Woo! Let's go. Hound Hour. Welcome to the team. Ladies and gentlemen, the nickname theme is... Colors the Pokemon remind you of. Think of a color that Houndour, the dark dog, reminds you of. Smokey, let's go. Because it's the fire dog. Both Smokey and Smokey, without the E and with the E, are adjectives used to describe something that has smoke or a smoky flavor or smell. The difference between the two is that smoky without the E is the standard spelling, while smoky is a less common alternative. Oh, today I learned. I feel like I'm learning so many things about colors. <laughs> Did not know that smoke. I just assumed it would be EY because why would it not? So, uh, in Route 214, our encounters are Graveler, which is an Evo, so we can't get it. Houndour, which we just caught, so it's a dupe. Geodude, RIP Pewter. Um, we already had one, and we killed it because we're big stupid. Um, and so our only valid encounter is a Rhyhorn. So we're going for Rhyhorn. And we get it right away! Let's go! Okay, so we want Rhyhorn to have... Uh... Ooh, it's got Lightning Rod or Rock Head. Hello. Lightning Rod seems kind of useless on this thing, considering it already isn't affected by <laughs> electric moves. Uh, so let's hope for Rock Head. All right. Let's see it. A one, a two, a three. Let's go, Rhyhorn! Welcome to the team. We got a female Rhyhorn. What color? Well, it's pretty gray. <laughs> so, what shade of gray <laughs> for a color does Rhyhorn remind you of? Yeah, we're gonna do granite. Welcome to the, s the team, Granny the Granite. This next one that we have up is the Maniac Cave. And in the main area, we either get a Geodude or a Hippopotas. It's the Ruin Maniac. He's a crazy dude. He's just digging away. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Hippo? Hippo? Geodude. 
Keep in mind, this is a 5% chance, which it is a 5% chance every time, but like realistically over time, if I encounter, if I find a hundred of these Pokemon, five of them should be freaking hippos. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's going that way right now. Yay, hippo! Hungry, hungry hippo. I think this is the female one. Yeah? It is the female one. Got her! All right. What do we name this female hippopotas? There's literally a color called brown nose. It's hexadecimal 6B4423. Uh, it's it's perfect. It, she's being named Brown Nose because she's literally has a brown nose. All right, let's check out our new encounters. We have Smokey, the Hound Hour with a gentle nature. That means plus special defense, minus defense. Eh. Flash fire powers up fire type moves if hit by a fire move. All right, all right, all right. I'm pretty sure it's the better one. Welcome to the team, Smokey. We got a docile Rhyhorn, uh, whose name is Granite. Docile is neutral nature, so that's pretty okay. And we got Rockhead, let's go. Okay, so no recoil damage. Takedown does not do damage to Granite. Um, neither does any of those other moves that it will learn at some point. <laughs> Um, and so now we have the last but not least, Brown Nose, the Hippo, Hippo, Hippo Don? That's what, it, no, sorry, Hippo Patas. The Hippo Patas, I'm thinking of the other one. Um, so it's Rash, which means plus special attack minus special defense. Pretty sure this thing is physically, <laughs> pretty sure this thing is, that is not what you want. Uh, but what do I know? What do I know? Let's see. Let's just take a general look at its statsy stats. Yeah, its special attack is 38. And its attack is 72. So that is Garbo. Uh, its special defense is also not very good already. And this makes it worse. So cool. That's fun. Um, so that's terrible. It has Sandstream though, so we can summon a Sandstorm in battle, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I, uh, yep. This is, this is it. That's it, that's our guy. <laughs> so where we left off, we're entering the gym. We got our Scyther out front, which has Wing Attack, which will ruin everyone in this gym's time. Um, it got Technician, and we're gonna have fun, okay? That's, let's, uh, give it a go.